We've now got the address card component, which takes the username as the input using the name attribute of the component, which is great, but now you've got to have all these other things passed in as well. You want to be able to pass in the title, the address, and the phone numbers, and all that stuff. I could, of course, add all those properties here and have the consumer of this component pass them in as well, but that's going to be tedious. Imagine having so many properties to be passed in. What I'd like to do is pass in an object instead, and that object is going to contain all these values that the address card component needs. In order to create that object as an API for my component, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a class. This is TypeScript, and I can create a class which defines what the address object should be, or the user object should be in this case. Uh, it's going to be an object which contains a bunch of properties, the name, designation, address, and an array for the phone number. And then I, I'm going to use that as the input. So rather than the consumer of my component pass in a string, they can pass in an instance of this user object. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to take out all the name, the designation, all that from that object, and then I'm going to use that instead of each individual property like this. All right. So let me do that by first creating a model object. I'm going to create a class called user, and that's going to be what gets passed around. So in my address card, I'm going to create a new file called user.model.ts. The file has to be a .ts, and this is something that you can choose on your own. I prefer the convention of using a .model.ts whenever I'm creating classes which are supposed to be models or data transfer objects. So I'm going to call this user.model.ts. And here I'm going to export a class, which is user, and it's going to have a bunch of properties. I'm just going to take a name, which is a string designation, which is another string. Address is a string, and then phone is going to be a string array. Okay, now I can use that to gather the user input. So rather than take the input as name, I'm going to take the user as the attribute that needs to be set by the consumer of this component. And I'm going to make this user. And this is going to be of type user. User will, of course, have to be imported from the model that I just created and uh, exported out. So what this does is just import. This is the Visual Studio Code adding this import for me automatically. If you don't get that automatically, you need to add this using the relative path here. Okay, so I have this user. Let me get rid of the string because I cannot assign a string to this anymore. I have this user created as a property, it's giving me an error because there is already a user over here. So I'm going to call this user obj just to give it a different name and we'll get rid of this soon. So user obj is what is going to be sent from the consumer of our, uh, of our component. So when I need to get the username, what I need to do is this dot user obj dot name. Okay. And um, I can fill in the rest of the stuff, the address, and the phone array. So we are done. We don't need the user to send each individual attribute one by one. All they need to do is send an instance of this user class. So whoever is consuming our component, they need to be able to create an instance of this user class, set the right values in it, and then pass that user object. And well, there you go. You should be able to use that. So let's try that out. It is a little bit of a nuance here and things are not going to work like you would expect it to. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the consumer, right? This is the app.component.html, which is using the address card component. Right now it's passing in name, which will not do. I need to pass in user equals. You need to pass this instance of user. In order to pass in an instance of user, what I actually need to do is create that instance. And I need to create that instance in the .ts file. 
here is the app component. This is the component which is using the address card component, right? And if you look at the component hierarchy, the component tree, this is at the top, app component is at the top, and it's using the address card component, which is a child of the app component. So the app component needs to pass an instance of the user to the address card component. In order to do that, it needs to create that instance first. So I'm going to create that instance in the constructor. I'm going to create a constructor, and here I'm going to create an instance, and I'm going to hard code the values. This can be something that you fetch from an API down the line, but for now, you're not looking at API calls, you just hard code this. So I'm going to create a let user new user, and I need to import user from the address card folder. It tells me where to find it. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to import it automatically. I'm going to set the values here, user.name. Okay, so I have a user created over here. Now, how do I pass this over here to this user property? But in order to pass it, I need to send that user instance that was created over here. And you know that in order to send something, in order to refer to something in the template, it has to be a member variable of the app component. So right now it's a local property which will not work. So let me make this a member variable. I'm going to say this is a property. Here I'm going to refer to this using the this keyword. So it's referring to this member variable, all right? So I have a member variable called user, and in the constructor, I'm creating a new instance and populating it to the member variable, and I'm also filling in some data. Now if I do this, can I pass this in? Can I send that user to here? Well, here's the problem with passing it like this. Do you remember when we did the hello and we had name, right? Uh, we had we passed in some string over here. Now what did Angular do? It took what was between these quotes and it took that value as a string and it passed that as the value, right? It wasn't doing an evaluation here. It was just taking whatever was within the double quotes and was passing that in. So if you do something like this, Angular doesn't know that you have a user instance here and you intend to send that. Angular just says, okay, here's another string, so let me just send that. And what it's gonna send is a string called user. That's not good. What you want Angular to do is send the member variable of that name and not the string itself. You need to tell Angular to behave differently for this value. In order to do that, in order to tell Angular to take the instance of this thing, what you need to do is surround the attribute with a box like this, square brackets. Open square bracket and close square bracket. This is gonna tell Angular that you're not, let me put this back to user. This tells Angular that you're not just taking the value that's in line, what you want Angular to do is evaluate it and take the member variable that this refers to, okay? If you do this, then it's gonna take the member variable here and it is going to do this, okay? So if I press save, it loads and you get the values that the component is setting over here. I can add one more here. And it automatically gets reflected. So it's basically the app component creating an instance, passing it to your address card component, using this syntax, you use the brackets to tell Angular to take this as the property. And then the address card component receives it over here using this input. And then it sets it to uh, an object over here. And then that's what it's using. So since there are there is no use for this user object, what I'm gonna do is get rid of this and just call this user. 
and I don't have to do this at all because whatever gets populated is automatically going to get reflected, right? Angular populates this and then the address card component is directly using those properties to display. So it becomes very simple. So this is how you um, pass in inputs. The only difference between the two cases that we looked at was the first case when you're passing in just a primitive in your component.html, you don't have to use this brackets. Whatever value you pass in the double quotes is what gets sent over as a primitive. But if you want to pass in a member variable in the consumer, you need to tell, hey, Angular, take this instance. You need to surround the attribute with a square bracket, and then it's going to evaluate it and it's going to take that member variable instead.